Good morning. I'll open again with the following page 577 in your gather book. 577. Calm my way, my truth, my life. which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be for us an unending protection. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Transgressions in accord with the riches of his grace 
that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in the court of his favor that he set before in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in <coughs> us in heaven and in heaven on the earth. The word of the Lord. Yes. Yes. The response of the song. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him. His holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all ye lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made all the salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them, and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute, in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world. From the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with, the, with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law, you have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter into your, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. As I've said earlier today, we celebrate the feasts and martyrdom of St. Ignatius of Antioch. Ignatius of Antioch is, was a modern and uh, a, mod, a great bishop and a martyr from early church. Antioch, the city where he served, is important because 
it was there that followers of Jesus Christ were first called Christians. It was a place where the church grew and flourished, becoming a hub for spreading the gospel. Ignatius himself was a leader of great faith and courage. As he journeyed toward his martyrdom, he wrote letters that still guide us today. In one of them, he said, I am God's wheat, and I shall be crowned by the teeth of beasts to become the pure bread of Christ. Ignatius saw his suffering to grow closer to Jesus. Now, we may not face martyrdom like Ignatius, but we all have our own struggles, whether it's balancing our work, caring for family, or staying true to our faith in a world that often uh, challenges us. Ignatius teaches us that our trials, big or small, can help us grow closer to God if we offer them to Christ. Today, as we reflect on Ignatius, let us think about the ways we can embrace our own challenges with faith, how we can offer our struggles to Christ, trusting that He will transform them into moments of grace. Like Ignatius, let us serve God with courage, Trusting that even in hard times he is working, working in with us. Saint Ignatius reminds us that true greatness is found in humble, humble service and staying united in faith. Let's ask for his, his intercession today that we may remain faithful and courageous no matter what challenges we face today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all stand. For all members of the Church, may the call to conversion bring us closer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord. For political leaders, may God imbue them with charity, selflessness, and concern for the marginalized, let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from any burden or difficulty, may they encounter the love of Christ, and it may console them, let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the Holy Spirit bring us to a renewed awareness of God's presence in our lives, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have gone before us in the light of faith, may they experience the mercy of God and enjoy eternal union with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. And today's intentions are for Eloisa Paz and Francisco Hernandez, for Henry Conan. For Henry Kurakonana, Clarita, and Felipe Gaba, we pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah. Let us pause in silence for our personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah. God of mercy, we trust in your love and seek your strength in all we do. We bring these prayers before you, and we ask these true Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Yes. 
Blessed are you, Lord God, for each of you. For if your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Let us all stand and pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice and God for the praise and glory of the King, for our good and for good Lord. May this oblation of and our homage be pleasing to you, O Lord, just as you accepted Saint Ignatius, the wheat of Christ, may your bread through his martyrdom and passion, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever great to give you thanks, to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed Mark here in Ignatius. For not like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble we still strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly in earth, and before your majesty without end, together we say, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sarah in our eyes, bless he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sarah in our eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy the for this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, took bread, gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of Lord and the of God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come, we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all your faithful people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Ignatius of Antioch, Padre Pio, and all the saints who have preached here throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternity and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Together with Ignatius of Antioch, we glorify God, our Father, and we say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into sin, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power are the Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, and if you peace, my peace I give you. Look none of our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other's Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless our most call to the supper of the Lord. Lord, 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 Our communion song is number 851. I receive the living God. 851.
Let's pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, on the feast day of St. Ignatius of Antioch, renew us, we pray, and make us Christians in name and in deed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Perform the Masses. For our closing hymn, let's join with me by O Seven. I want to walk as a child of the light. Five hundred seven. <laughs> 